Peace and welcome to December. Before I go on, my other channel, Brothers of the Sword Productions, has another video out. And it's about the Shugborough inscription decoding on Shepherd's Monument. This is one of the world's top uncracked ciphers, and I believe I've cracked it. And if you're interested, the link is down below in the description box. Now you have a reading that's all over the charts. I know in November your reading was saying there was a lot of changes going on. I think there had been the summer for all of the signs, but especially for you, and I know it's difficult because you're a fixed sign. But this reading is saying to me that you're kind of laying the foundation for some really long-term changes. Now the rune that you received is Manus. This means man, mankind. And the funny thing too is it means anima the soul and your connection with yourself and how it connects with other people as well. This is a card about synergism and you singing on the same sheet of music in harmony with other people. It's not always easily done, but if you can, it's gonna open up the doors for a lot of things in your life. Uranus slipped back into Aries out of your sign and now you are kind of focusing on the, the me, me, myself, and I kind of thing. Your personality, restructuring things. Then it's going to hop back into your sign again for many, many years. There's going to be some unexpected things coming up. And hopefully you expect them now so that you're not surprised and you're preparing yourself. Actually, be prepared. Just not start preparing. Be prepared for these changes. In the Minciati card, the deck that I put together, you received Chaos. This is equal to the Tower card. It is saying, yeah, there's some changes coming up. For me, I like the Tower card. I like the Chaos card. It's time to mix things up a little bit. Make some changes. Bring some new, fresh things into your life. You know, the Tower card and the Chaos card is just saying that there's going to be changes in some circumstances in your life. And I can see that from the main bulk of the cards that are in your spread. Down on the left there, you receive the moon. And in the center, you receive the Hierophant. The moon is saying that there's been some kind of deceit. And if it's not deceit, there's some things that you don't realize that are going on. And the Hierophant is saying that you've been seeking some truth. Are looking for something that opens the doors to truth. And the Hierophant too is about rites of passage changes in your life and it's also about institution and other people this is all coming together that you have to start getting along with other people and within yourself with the doors to swing open for opportunities because the two overall energy cards that you receive is the two of wands and the nine of cups the wish card the two of wands is the card about opportunities opening up to you it's about making plans, starting to prepare or be prepared in your mind for the things that are going to be launched later on, for these long-term goals that you have in your mind, or you've been just starting to mull over. This is a time to be really concise when you're communicating with people. Mercury is all over the charts this month. What is it now? He, he's retrograde in Scorpio for the first week. You know, he'll be in shadow period for, I don't know, another five days. And the next thing you know, well, you know, he's going into Sagittarius. This too is a sign not to go out and buy a whole bunch of things in December for Christmas, but do it in November. Or do it really right before Christmas. Maybe that's even more optimal. Now any two card is about partnership balance and decisions and this whole reading is about that but here you have the nine of cups card right alongside the two of wands saying yeah there's going to be a wish that going to come true if you ask for the right thing you know sometimes what you wish for isn't what you want or really need but you know down there on the left for the category of what you know you receive the moon card and the six of cups so the moon card connected to the Six of Cups is saying that 
there's something about your past that you're reliving. Maybe you realize something from the past that really had never been forefront in your mind and you're, you're figuring out that, yeah, I didn't realize this way back there, but now I do. The Six of Cups is a card of recollection. The number six in itself is about endurance, love, and harmony. But here you have the Hierophant in the center, but the Hierophant was with, is with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's been kind of a rough road to get to where you're at right now. And you've been kind of in a holding pattern. You know, the plane has been zooming around and waiting to land. But you don't want to run out of fuel. Venus, your planet, for the first two weeks of December is going to be in its shadow period. You know, it's time to kind of just sit back. Review what you're doing. Make these plans that are necessary for your long-term future. That these cards are saying that you're getting prepared for. But there's some speed bumps as usual. The cards next door for your awareness or self-awareness is the Seven of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Now you can be stealing your own emotions or people can be draining you of your emotions. But you know, if you hang together, the Nine of Cups, or excuse me, the Nine of Pentacles, it's one of the most pleasant cards in the deck. It's about satisfaction, happiness. It's very equal to the Nine of Cups up there. You know, it's saying that you can have all that you want. You work very hard for it. I don't know if people deserve it. People deserve what they are. But here it is, if you do some of the right things, and even if somebody has been stealing from you, you know, just take the philosophical idea of that. Maybe they needed it more than you. Revamp yourself, refresh yourself, and go on. You've been waiting for all of this to come up. And I think really the turning point is going to be 2019 for you. Things are going to be changing then. Or they have changed enough where now it's just kind of a smooth sailing from there. We still have a series of eclipses coming up in January. But I think you'll go under the radar for those. Now your future cards, the first one is the Ten of Wands. It's saying, yeah, yeah, it's been kind of rough. You've been carrying a lot of wands around, heavy load kind of thing. But you have two, no, you have three nine cards in the main readings. And that's saying that you're coming to the end of something. And the Ten of Wands, the Ten card, is saying, yeah, this is the endings of new beginnings. So now you're dropping some things and moving on. But it is saying that you're going to have to let go of a few things to find value in some other things. You know, there was value in some things a long time ago, and now it's lost its context. There isn't value to it anymore, and it's not doing anything for you in your life. Now above the Ten of Wands is the Queen of Pentacles and she's saying be realistic in the goals that you set so you're not disappointed. The Judgment card is right next to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, that you're coming to the end of something. You're making some judgments about things. You're judging whether people are stealing from you, whether there's been some deceit, whether you've deceived yourself even about your past. And now you're coming to a realization Especially with the Hierophant there. You know, realizing the unknown. Whatever's behind the Hierophant is the unknown. And you've been seeking that. But you know, there's some redemption in this because the very last card is the Four of Wands. This is a celebration card. This connects back to the Manas rune about having synergy with other people, celebrating a shared accomplishment. This card is also about coming home. And I think Venus is feeling that way with you too, the planet. Now she's shining up in the, in the morning sky at her brightest in December. If you've noticed, she went through a 40-day remission of darkness and now comes out and it's the brightest she's been in the sky for a very long time. So if you have some time, check it out in the mornings because the first star that comes up in the brightest is Venus. 
and I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.